today we'll be talking about satin and satin weaves satin spelled with s a t i n and satin that is s a t double e n the basic difference between these two weave structures is that in the satin weave it's more of a warp faced weave structure which means the floats here are maximum and predominantly of the warp so it forms you will see in this picture how this first end warp end has this long float which is floating over three wefts then it's just nipped here by a weft and then again floats up so overall in this diagram you see a predominant uh, structure where you see the warp on the surface of the fabric and that is how this fabric gets a very nice sheen which means light is reflected by these threads giving it a very shiny structure now compared to the satin weave in the satin weave it is a weft faced weave structure which means here the warp gets hidden whereas the weft is what is visible here so it's the weft which is predominantly visible here and it has floats and there are these long floats where it's floating over three warp ends then gets nipped by a, a single warp end and then again floats over another three warp ends another difference between the satin and the satin weave is with the material used in the satin weave the top warp yarns are usually silk whereas the weft yarns are the cotton so what happens is when you see the front face of the warp it's a very nice shiny surface because of the silk and its long floats whereas the under surface is dull with with the cotton weft threads comparatively in satin weave it's completely made of cotton the warp and the weft both are of cotton and you mainly see these weaves used in bed sheets and bed linens so now let us understand how to plot these weave structures on a graph let us first look at the satin weave as we have looked earlier we know that the the first warp end is covered by a weft so we leave a blank here which is a weft and then you see there are three warp ends which are exposed so we put three cross marks and then again we see an exposed weft so a blank again three warp yarns one weft and again a single warp so this is our first pick that has been plotted it plotted what is important to note about satin weave as compared to a twill weave is that we won't see a very distinct diagonal rib structure here it's completely disrupted we'll see how let us look at the second pick in the second pick we have the first exposed warp end so a cross then you see a weft which is blank then you have three warp ends again seen so you have three warp ends again our exposed weft which is blank again three warp ends which are exposed and then again a blank which is of the weft now what is emerging here is sort of like a diagonal twill weave structure but in our next pick we'll see how this is disrupted to create a very smooth satin weave surface without any diagonal ribs so in the third pick we have three warp ends that are exposed so let us first put three cross marks then a weft which is blank then you have another three warp ends and then you have another weft which is exposed so you leave a blank and then two warp ends so you see here there's a slight difference coming in what was supposed to be as a weft which was going to go in a clear diagonal is suddenly disrupted due to a displacement of one of the interlacings
and finally when we see the fourth warp end you have fourth pick you have the first two warp ends exposed then a weft which is blank again three warp ends which are exposed again a weft and again three warp ends so, th so what we see in this plotted graph is maximum brown marks which suggests that this is the brown warp threads which are exposed and this is what makes it a warp face satin whereas we just see few dots of the weft that keep these yarns in place in our weave structure. So this is our basic repeat and we repeat this again in the rest of the picture beginning from here. So we leave a blank, we have three warp ends again leave a blank, three warp ends and a blank and three warp ends. So keep repeating and you will find a complete warp face satin weave structure. So here I plotted the entire graph and you will see that how each warp end has these floats which are of going over three picks. And this is how it's a completely warp face satin with scattered dots of weft which are irregularly placed. There is no regularity like the twill where we would see distinct diagonals. Here it's completely scattered. Now let us look at the satin weave which is a weft face satin. Let us first plot the pick. The first pick how it's traveling. We see our first warp exposed end and we put a cross mark. We have three wefts, uh, th three, uh, the, flo the pick floating over three warp ends. So we leave three blanks, again a wa exposed warp, again a float over three warp ends. So we leave a long three weft boxes and then you have another exposed warp and then a blank again. In our second pick, we see that there is a weft that's visible here, so blank. We see one warp end visible next to it. Again, we see three wefts, wefts floating over three warp ends. So we leave three blanks. Again, an exposed warp. Again, three blanks. And then an exposed warp. What we are seeing here is a diagonal emerging. But this will get disrupted again when we put it plot our third pick. Let us see how. We have a float of the third pick which is over three warp ends. So we leave three boxes and then one exposed warp. Then again three floats of the weft. Again an exposed warp. And then you have two wefts a two a weft passing over two walkways so slowly you're seeing how the weft is getting exposed here more and we have disrupted this diagonal that was emerging finally we put the fourth pick in the fourth pick we have the weft traveling floating over two first two warp ends so we leave a blank of two boxes and then an exposed warp then again three warp ends floating and then you have an exposed warp and again three warp ends floating you have a pick floating over three warp ends so this is how your satin weave emerges where we have a predominant float of the weft because that's we are seeing the weft more here compared to the warp and this is our repeat which we will repeat in the rest of the diagram in the graph to know the entire satin weave structure. So finally we have plotted our entire satin weave structure on the graph and we see that how both of them are distinctly different. One is weft faced and the other is warp faced and how we see here for example in the satin weave it's the warp ends which are scattered as dots irregularly over the surface of the fabric whereas in satin weave we have the weft threads the weft picks 
which are scattered all over the surface and predominantly showing warp floats all over creating a very shiny fabric.